Most people know that we need enough water to keep hydrated. What about for our dogs, Nicole? It's exactly the same thing for our pets. So absolutely, water is a nutrient for our pets. They need enough for optimal function. It affects their skin, their yes. gut, their mental health, everything. So it's really important that pet owners do provide enough water for their dogs. And what if their dog is getting too much water or drinking all the time? Yeah, that can be a problem too. So uh, we have a lot of conditions in pets that are reflected with water intake. Yes. So excessive thirst in pets, which is considered more than 100 mils per kilo. So for a 10 kilo dog, if they're drinking more than a litre a day, okay. that's actually a sign that there's a problem. Okay. It can reflect kidney function, diabetes, definitely things you need to talk to your vet about with that one. Really important. When might a dog need more water than we don't realise? So our pets, I think, are young and active dogs. As long yes. as we provide enough water, you know, you've got free, fresh water bowls around, they're generally okay. It's the dogs with the pre-existing problems that we have to watch out for. So if there's any underlying kidney, bladder issues, uh, and also we can't forget about our arthritic dogs, that when they're a bit sore and getting up, they often can't be bothered going to get a drink. Yes. The senile dogs, they might forget about it. Yeah. So, and also any dog with any chronic allergy or chronic inflammatory condition, they always have a higher water intake. And then our beautiful puppies do tend to drink a lot more water. Hey? Who I think snoozing on my hand here, <laughs> Joe is. <laughs> and what happens if we're seeing our dogs drinking too much water? What is that generally a sign of? If they haven't, of course, been for a massive run or something like that. <laughs> so excessive thirst uh, can either just be heat. So yes. something really simple and obvious. Yeah. But if it's not a simple and obvious one, it can reflect their body function has changed. So they might have kidney issues, bladder issues, or they might actually have diabetes or something yes. like that. So definitely a vet visit if their drinking habits have changed. All right. And what role does diet play, I imagine a lot, uh, in making sure they get enough moisture just naturally into their diet? Yeah, so different diets have different moisture content. So if you think about it, kibble is dry. Yes. There's not a lot of moisture in that. Whereas if you've got a raw, fresh diet, that's naturally going to have a lot of moisture in it, isn't yes. it? So kibble-fed patients, I recommend having at least three times the amount of food you're offering with water. So yes. if you, you offer one cup, then I do three cups of water. Okay. 100 grams, 300 mils of water. In the fresh food diets, it's more in the diet. It's not as big a deal, just have a fresh bowl of water there for them. Okay, and we also need to be mindful as well with kibble that it expands. Absolutely. With water. Yeah, so always with the kibble feeders, I think you've got to be careful about feeding once a day. Yes. I tend to recommend to feed two or three times a day. It's less pressure on the tummy. Yes. Because it's going to swell inside the tummy and can cause a bit of discomfort. All right, then, lovely. Oh, well, thank you, Nicole. Thanks, guys. You've all had enough water, but they're just all schnoozing now. <laughs> if you'd like to find out more about feeding your dog a big dog pet food, raw food diet, visit their website. Yeah, you little sweetie. <laughs>